an apple, a blank page, and a chocolate bar. Can anyone give me some guesses as to what these three things might have in common? Anyone? Joy. I like it. Any more? Healthy. Comfort. Healthy chocolate yeah. bars. I love yeah. that. Any other guesses? Beginnings of something. Ooh, you're close. <laughs> Running yeah. away from something. The beginning like Kosovo, like ABC. I didn't even think of that. Oh. You guys are smart <laughs> Whilst these three things might seem unrelated, there is one thing that ties them together, and that is that they were all the inspiration that kicked everything off for someone who then went on to make it. For Isaac Newton, it was an apple falling from a tree that encouraged him to start his theory of gravity. For J.R.R. Tolkien, it was a student's blank page that inspired him to start penning The Hobbit. For Percy Spencer, it was a chocolate bar melting in his pocket that made him create the idea for the microwave oven. And for me, it was a movie about talking cars. Good evening, <laughs> Toastmaster members and guests. My name is Kira Murphy, and tonight I would like to share a story with you that begins with the 2006 Disney Pixar animated film Cars, and how that ultimately led to me making it in the music industry. Now, you might be wondering how a movie about talking cars could be so impactful, but it was the soundtrack to this movie that really captured my attention. With artists like Brad Paisley, Rascal Flatts, and Sheryl Crow, this movie was my introduction to country music. From that moment on, I was hooked. I listened to that album every single day on repeat. I cannot even tell you what my parents must have thought hearing the same 10 songs blaring out of my room day in and day out. I loved that album so much, I probably burnt a hole in the CD. And by the time I was finished with listening to it, then I just had to go out and find some more music like it. I discovered artists like Lady A, Little Big Town, Zac Brown Band, Darius Rucker, names that probably mean nothing to you, but meant everything to me. I downloaded all of their albums. I went to their shows when they finally started playing this side of the pond, and I became their biggest fan. As the years went by, my love for country music only continued to grow. By the time I went off to university, I thought, you know, maybe it might be nice to share my love of the genre with other people. Cars had been my introduction, my awakening to country music, but perhaps there were a few dormant country fans out there who would love the same music I did, but just didn't know it yet. I found out that my university radio station was accepting applications for new shows, so I sent mine in and kept my fingers crossed. A few days later, the email came through, Kira, you're in. And thus, Kira's country was born. Each week, I curated the perfect playlist to show off all of the songs that I was loving that week. I shared songs by my favorite artists, I highlighted up and coming singers, and I even crafted these unique features in my show that I thought listeners might enjoy. Did I actually know that anyone was listening to my show? Honestly, no. I didn't have access to the listenership numbers, so. But I didn't really care. I was doing it because I loved it. At one point, I decided, you know, maybe it might be cool if I could interview some of these artists for my show. So on a whim, I sent out emails to some publisher, publicists and managers asking if I could have just a few minutes of their artist time. And to my surprise, most of them said yes. And they even started offering me tickets to the shows. The same shows that I would have happily paid money for. Now I was getting to go to for free 
and meet and talk with the artist too. How cool. So the years went by and the artists that I was contacting and who were contacting me got bigger. The ones I interviewed right at the beginning began to remember me even after their follow account had swelled to the hundreds of thousands and even millions. I was getting press passes to festivals. I was getting backstage passes to the biggest names in the industry. And just because I love their music. So here we are, 2023. I've just come back from covering the biggest country music festival in all of Europe for the 10th year running. Those <coughs> names that I mentioned to you at the beginning, Darius Rucker, Lady A, Zach Brown Band, I've interviewed them all. I would say that I've met about 90% of all of the artists in my entire music library. Not bad, right? Things that never would have happened had it not been for that movie about talking past. Sometimes I think the most unexpected of things can inspire us to make it in ways that we never would have imagined possible. An apple, a blank page, a chocolate bar, a kid's movie. Anything can be that spark that ignites a passion within us. So my message to you is this. If you find something that you love, pursue it with everything that you've got. Don't be afraid to take a chance on the unexpected because you never know where it might lead you.